Hello and welcome to Geeked Place 2 tutorials. So in this tutorial, I want to look a little bit closer on the filters and specifically terrace filter. So many times when you started by default project, you'll have a terrace filter kind of a nicely applied. And okay, right here, terrace filter, so we can preview. Okay, let me actually take the pro noise and bring it just slightly bigger so we can preview a little bit nicer okay and there's a terrace filter and problem with terrace filter okay let me add kind of effect if you look straight you see they all parallel so it's look almost like a minecraft or from top but they don't follow the terrain so one thing what I want to do I want to create a little bit more natural because if you look on strata type mountains they go going on side or they follow with terrain kind of more so what i want to do is modify this okay to do this we actually need control the modulations of our terrace and we have it multiple ways you can play around to try create it the one i want to follow terrain i want to create a more natural so i'm going to create another advanced perlin and connect this but you'll notice it's almost no different so what do we want to do? We want to control this ball from same navigation, so it's make it a little bit easier for us. And we want a little bit offset. We don't want identical. So let's go to parameters. We'll go take called generator. We'll put it right here, and we'll connect this to the scale. And but before we connect to this one, I say we need to have it offset. So I'll add arithmetic and I'll connect. Now, if we um, let me lock preview, the one thing if you look at this moment, okay, now let me take this generator and bring maybe around this area. If we add arithmetics and we'll just add a clip, it doesn't it change, but it doesn't change okay that much, it's still kind of parallel. So, we want to inverse that to apply some nice effect to this so right here before that well let's take and put inverter connect to the and now we let's go preview so look right in this moment you can see they're not parallel they're going slightly skewed so it start we start affecting this and of course with the arithmetics right here we can modify and notice how they start kind of going on a sideways to right here see they follow now the height so we still have it not straight anymore so it's more natural now these lines will follow the angles it's followed the terrain so it's almost like come down and we have it now not straight go this way terrain go down kind of you see quite orientation down as well so now we have it our strata filter that work not parallel. Now they work with the terrain. So we can apply this way. Again, you can modify it, but you notice it's clipped. So if I go too far, it just doesn't do any effect here. So you can go about five. And you can see how much effect amount of this you want applied on your terrain. Again, because it's offset, and you can play with different type of generation so we can go all parallel or we can bring a little bit closer and again right here this is look a little bit more natural to me so if I'm going to work with the strata these filters it's probably what I'm going to do just okay let's pop up a little bit more right here kind of add layering Harder shape so I can preview and you can see how the angles even from this point now they're not straight they go up slightly skewed this way so we have a nice angling going on our filters and of course when you do in Canyon if you apply this in when you create Canyon so you can have a very nice effect so overall right here it's what I want to show you how you can um, just to add small modifications and have some very interesting effect 
with the, again, with the terrace kind of filter.